Welcome to another edition of Performance TV. We are here at SEMA, the 47th annual SEMA show at the Las Vegas Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is where all the innovators come together. We get to see all of the coolest, neatest stuff. And Tommy, well, he's already inside, so what do you say? We got a lot to see here over the next few minutes. Let's go. In the Stage 8 Locking Fasteners booth with Robert, tell us all what you brought to SEMA to show everybody this weekend. Well, for the automotive industry this year, we brought our new locking turbo nuts. So it's the same as the header bolts with the groove in the top of the nut, but we can actually lock a nut on a turbo to keep that turbo from vibrating loose. We also this year have longer collector bolts. We came out with a collector kit a couple of years ago. Uh, it's got a weld tab on one side so you don't have to wrench both ends. Well, now we have longer ones to fit those new ball socket collector assemblies. What's this? Uh, stage eight can actually lock a bolt in a hole. <laughs> okay, not very many people can do that, and it's a true mechanical lock. You put your bolt in, you torque it to spec. We mill a little divot in the counter bore. So you put your bolt in, you torque it to spec, you drop the counter bore retainer over it, it engages in the divot, and drop a snap ring on it. You have them for bicycles? <laughs> Apparently, in the bicycle industry, with these square taper cranks, they're coming loose all the time. So we used our counter bore system here and just outfitted a crank, and now we can prevent these from loosening, period. So we've been in the train industry now for about 20 years. We've done a lot of track bolts. We've done a lot of exhaust manifolds on GE locomotives. This is our newest item. This is a cap screw locking system. It's the first improvement on wheel bearing cap screw locking systems in 55 years that's been approved by the American Association of Railroads Wobble Committee. At 150,000 miles, we have a zero report of failure, uh, a complete retention of initial torque applied, while the traditional system is running about a 95% failure rate. You're going to see stage eight everywhere, even on the train you get on. For any motor to run well, what do we need? Air, fuel, spark. Well, we've got a whole lot of that covered right here, and a great way to do it is quick, quick fuel technology. Marvin, you guys have, you have come up with a great line or added to your line, I should say, of, of fuel pumps. Yes, yeah, so actually, basically what we've done, we've made the larger fuel pumps for the carbureted engines, and we've got a 400 with a bypass, a 300 internal bypass, 260 with external bypass, and a 230 with a bypass regulator on the side. All these pumps are completely serviceable. They all have new seals, new pumping elements, and DynaBlue wear capabilities. We, our Black Diamond Series carburetors are taking off very well. This is our new 600 BD 1957 that we're gonna be doing for the street. And we also have a new four circuit QFX that we're going to be coming out with that'll be pro stock ready. So it'll be quite the thing for just top sportsman, top dragster, and those kind of cars also. This thing is a monster, but so many folks are into fuel injection. And, and Ken, you've got a lot to do with this system here. Well, this year we're proud to announce our uh, introduction into the fuel injection market. We inject the fuel up nice and high in the intake and use an annular booster with an annular venturi to distribute the fuel above the butterfly. We've coupled that with uh, interchangeable injectors, OE-style sensors to make it serviceable, easy to get parts for. Our computer is completely self-learning. We've got some options on there, dual fan controls. It's a wideband system, handheld tunable, and also laptop tunable for the more advanced tuners. Quick Fuel Technology, a little bit of something for everyone. Hop on their website, quickfueltechnology.com. Out of all the booths here at SEMA, the Hunter Engineering Company has some of the best technology I've seen. Well, thanks, Tommy. Yeah, we're really excited here to introduce at SEMA the Hunter Revolution Fully Automatic Tire Changer. The tire changer does all the work. Everything is fully automatic. Uh, so from the start to finish, he's actually, see if he doesn't even have his hands on this tire and wheel, it's going to do all the work for him. I'm surprised it doesn't take it off the car for you, but it knows every step, everything's pre-programmed. You push a button, it takes over for you. That's exactly right. And the beauty of this also is it changes everything exactly the same way on every single tire and wheel. That's not all the technology the Hunter has. We've got something else to show you. This is the Hunter Quick Check Inspection Lane. When the operator pulls this onto the lane, everything is communicated wirelessly to our console, and it's going to gather all this information, and then we can present a wonderful printout, basically a health report, to the consumer on their vehicle. So in three minutes, we're going to check the brake performance of a vehicle, the wheel alignment of that vehicle compared to factory specifications. We're going to check the battery condition, tread depth, and also onboard computer diagnostics through the OBD2 connector. And this shows it all wirelessly on the iPad. That's correct. As you can see, you know, this would be the report that would have been generated from this inspection lane. And you look on here, there's some beautiful things. Green is good. 
you know, red is something that needs attention, so we can see, you know, the emissions check was great, the battery health is really good on this vehicle, tire condition is wonderful, but there's a little issue with the brakes that might need a little further inspection to find out what's going on with the braking system. But the real beauty of this is the experience that that consumer receives when they come into a repair facility. I mean, the Hunter Engineering Company, they have taken vehicle service to a whole new level. This edition of Performance TV presented by Low Car Performance Products is being brought to you by ARP, the world leader in fastener technology. Quick Fuel, innovators in fuel systems. Magic Tank, emergency fuel to avoid getting stuck on the road. Las Vegas Tool, maker of Easy Puller, the most versatile tool you can own. Freedom Truck Door, the extendable truck bed door to give you the freedom to make the most of your truck bed. We have a 2014 truck here. This is one of the hottest trucks on the market right now. And Anzo USA, they've got it covered. Yeah, this uh, 2014 Silverado, it features the U-bar lighting, and this is this is a bad truck. So. Yes, it is. And with, with all of the stuff that, that Anzo has made that we've seen on lots of the other models here, we're starting off with the, the lights up front. But what have they done for the back of this truck? It's absolutely amazing. OK, you've got to check out the back of this truck if we want to come around, and I can show you a little bit more. Anna, now that we've made our move to the back of this 2014 Silverado, how many functions do we have here? This is actually a five-function tailgate spoiler. So it actually um, can do uh, your blinkers and reverse, and it's, it's a really good thing to have because on the later models, it used to be down here, but now you're not, it kind of blocks it, so we moved it up to the tailgate. Not only that, but uh, Anzo is also making these for a lot of other vehicles as well that don't have the spoiler on the back, and it, it kind of customizes your vehicle just that much more. Exactly. If you want something that's new and different, you have to come to Anzo, and they'll customize it all for you. Yeah, you can't forget these bad boys right here because this is actually one of the best products that you can get. The LED lighting is so vibrant. You have to go online and really check out and see what they have to fit your needs. So whether you have the 2014 Silverado, whether you're doing off-roading, like we've seen the Razor here in the booth, whatever it is you're looking for with it comes to lighting needs, check out AnzoUSA.com. CRC is one of the most recognized brands in the chemical industry, but you've got something new for this show that you're introducing. That's right. Um, this year we're excited to introduce uh, One Tank Power New, and it's a complete fuel system cleanup. You know, you go to the retail shelf and you have a lot of choices, and a lot of times what you'll see on the shelf is something that you need to use with every fill-up to meet the claims that the products make on the bottles. So we've introduced uh, One Tank Power New and backed by real tests, real data, real results. If you use a product every tank full, you're going to use that product about 30 to 35 times a year, and that can really add up. You only need to use this product once every 4,000 miles or so. Now this is not only for gasoline burning engines, but also diesel as well? That's correct, yes. We have the gasoline version. Um, our test results are incredible. I mean, we have proven up to 5.7% increase in fuel economy, 99% um, injector flow recovery, and 100% misfire repair. And um, we, like you said, we offer it for diesel and gasoline as well. You even show the actual pictures of your test results right on the side of the box. Yes, that's right. These are the actual photos taken from the field test that we did. Um, we tested a fleet of vehicles, and these are examples of the before and after cleanup. Um, a lot of people may not realize it, but over time, you know, the, the impurities in the fuel today cause a lot of carbon deposits to build up on the fuel system. And our product will clean those deposits up in one tank of fuel. When you're looking to coat something, you want to be able to do it once, you want it to be right, and you want to have choices. With Scorpion, you can do that, and at Clayton, I, I can't believe all of the stuff that we can do here. Scorpion has always been about customizing and being very versatile. There's a whole variety of textures, everything from high aggressive, non-skid, any color under the rainbow, matte finishes, metal flake. It's all about customizing all the way down to the customer's preference. We talk about bed liners, but that's not where it stops. We're decks, 
boats. I mean, it, it's almost endless. You can go directly onto wood. It goes onto metal, fiberglass. And on the vehicle that's behind us, it's all over this. Yeah, the whole thing's covered, but literally inside and out. And it really does show what you can do with the coating. Historically, all protective coatings and bed liner companies, you need expensive equipment. You very, at the very least need an air compressor. Uh, Scorpion has actually been working with uh, Wagner Spray Tech. We just launched an electric uh, spray gun that's used with our coating. Now you can plug it in, all you need is an extension cord. When you're buying this, you're not just buying a your typical over-the-counter product. You're buying something that is extremely tough and durable. And it's something that Scorpion uh, stands behind. We give a lifetime guarantee uh, to our products. Uh, it's made to be tough. It's made to be durable. It's made to... Uh, be color fast so it looks great it's going to continue to look great if folks want to go and check out your website tell us where we can do that www.scorpioncoatings.com This week's industry update, ARP Bolts, the world leader in fastener technology, Tommy, from street rods to drag cars right up through top fuel. They're the leading bolt manufacturer. I've used them for years, and you have as well. They make everything from a custom bolt to, well, one of the things I like, a bolt kit for your car. You, you're sure. building a street rod, and they make, this kit comes with just about every bolt and accessory on the engine. I mean, intake bolts, the header bolts, the water neck bolts, the distributor hold down bolts, everything you bolt on an engine, you're going to make it not only look good, it's going to stay on the car. And it's all listed in the pack that it comes in, like this one, for example, for an LS1 up through the LS6 motor. The one that I have here in my hand, you know, if you want to go with the 12-point, stainless, never going to rust, you can do that. Our ARP's got a lot of choices, okay. like like with the hex stops, too. Right, they got a hex head bolt here. Or if you also, if you don't like chrome, you want to black it all out, they can get them in black oxide as well. And even if you're not doing a whole engine project and you just need one set of bolts, all you got to do is hop on their website, check it all out. It's arp-bolts.com. I'm with Brent Erickson of Erickson Manufacturing, and you're the cargo specialist. I mean, you've got everything to tie down a load or haul a load. Yes, we pretty much have everything that you need to make that trip safe and secure. We're here at the show this year, we're introducing our new Midnight Series. We try to bring that blackout and a little bit of hot colors in there and uh, make this product exciting for that end user. You're speaking my language. Everything I got, I like the blacked out look. So if you're going to uh, have a good looking truck all blacked out, you're going to haul a load, you want a blacked out tie down. Yeah, that, that's it. You know, tell me about this big bed I see over here. What's this? This is, is kind of neat product. Got my attention. Well, the big bed was designed, uh, you know, today the, the pickup trucks have all gone to a six-foot box, extended cabs. And, yeah, not, uh, not every load is, is six foot long. You might want to haul something a little longer. Yeah, that's right. You know, you got that uh, big extension ladder or some two-by-eights or whatever, 16-foot long. You can't get them in the truck. So you simply hook this in the receiver of your truck. You pull this little pin here, pull it out. Uh, it stands up here. Uh, and then this flips open. Yeah, you got three different uh, heights here for different trucks, Ford, Dodge, Chevy, Toyota. Yeah, you uh, level it with your tailgate, you know, you load your load on, the canoe, kayak, boards, whatever you want. Yeah, something that's a little heavier in the rear and it needs support, you can't leave it hanging out the back of the truck. That's right, yeah. Well, this will make that experience a lot easier, I'll tell you. Perfect. Low car performance products always staying ahead of the game, looking for new ways to be innovative, creative, and fun. And they've tied in with you, Jonathan. You've done all kinds of really cool stuff working with low car. And I'm loving some of the stuff that I'm seeing that, that this dash here, what a beautiful option to add to a car. Yes, yeah, so we've come out with some new products. This is a nice dash insert. You can do the gauges that you choose to, the switches you want, and actually uh, comes in a three different sets up for the back. So it um, gives you a good variety and it's a nice setup. What about all of this great line here that you've done everything from your shifter taking it through the throttle pedals and, and everything and I love the teardrop design. Yes. Everything works together that way if you actually want to buy everything you could do all this and put it all in one car. All these match up perfect and uh, it's just a good package to finish out a car and have all good low car products in it. NHRA has mandated some new rules that are going to start with 2014 and guys and gals you're going to need to make sure that your collectors are properly tethered to your headers. Brian you guys have come up with a great product here. It is NHRA accepted. We do, it's been NHRA accepted. What's cool about this product is it's adjustable. Each tether comes with a pair of, of adjustable tethers that are 36 inches long and you can cut them to fit. 
We've tried to build in some redundancy so that you don't have to worry about something vibrating loose or falling off. We've got this 304 piece of stainless steel that's been machined so that it can't back off. It's got an e-clip in there that keeps it from coming off. And as always, made in the USA. Low car performance products. Check them out online at lowcar.com. I'm here with Chris Hoffman from Stant Corporation. And Chris, you have a factory replacement gas cap. There's a lot of safety features you have in your caps. You don't have to buy the OEM cap. Well, you're right. We bring a lot of OE technology to the aftermarket. All our caps have a lot of features such as the breakaway, the safety features of the OE, as well as the same valving. Tell me about the products you're introducing here. This one here is for the Dodge Viper. People who own a Viper know they're hard to bleed the air out of the system. You see this little hole on it, this helps bleed the air out of the system. So it's a major improvement on what's on the market today. This thermostat here is for the Ford Shelby GT500s. This is the standard as the OE temperature. The other one we have here is for the Dodge Hemis. This is something new. We've had that thermostat in a 203 degrees. We offered it an alternate temperature of 190. And this one here we're bringing out this market is a 180. We've had a lot of requests for it on that 180 for performance. One more thing. Come spring, we're going to have a 160 version for the turbocharger market. So be looking for that if you're turbocharging your Hemi. <laughs> I mean, you have a whole line of products. They can go and not and not have to go back to the dealership and get the OEM, which we know is going to be a little more expensive. Stent can take care of all their needs. That's correct. We've got the best coverage in all our staps and cats in the industry. Uh, whether it's 95% of every vehicle on the road for our thermostats to 98% for our fuel caps. Check them out at stant.com. This week's ARP Quarter Mile Quiz Question comes from Earl in Pennsylvania. Earl wants to know, why do funny car crew chiefs raise the body after a burnout? Hey Earl, thanks for your question. Usually what the funny car crew chiefs are doing, they raise that body up, they're looking number one for leaks. They need to make sure if there's any leaks of oil or nitro, some's coming out, they get a chance to see it. A lot of the other things that they do, they're probably uh, checking the computer, they're checking the idle speed, they've got the uh, computer readout underneath the body, so they're looking at that. Probably the last thing they're doing is they're adjusting the idle mixture, making it exactly what they want before they lower the body down and send their driver down the down the tracks. If you have a question for the ARP Quarter Mile Quiz, send it to the address on the screen. If we use your question on the air, you'll receive a free ARP Quarter Mile Quiz shirt. This edition of Performance TV, presented by Low Car Performance Products, is being brought to you by... Exoto, extending the life of your vehicles and equipment. Isis Power, intelligent multiplex system car wiring harness. Cloud Rider Design, leading Canadian designer, manufacturer, and worldwide distributor of aftermarket accessories. TG Manufacturing, don't lose your toys over weak cables. And by Sylvania, innovation at its brightest. What you see here you may think is just a typical truck, but it's not. This truck is a whole lot more versatile thanks to Freedom Truck Door. Clay, tell me about what you have designed here. What we have here is a door on the side of a truck bed that is extendable. Currently it's set up to show in the truck mode or a Jeep-like mode. The bed right now is configured in Jeep-like mode that if we climb in there, it would be very similar to the Jeeps early Broncos and K5 lasers. This is removable and we'll put an extension on here for a window. And we'll end up extending this and then you can turn it into a Tahoe-like or a Suburban-like configuration. With this extension in here, and if you put a top on, I have it so it comes back about three quarters and then now you have an enclosed area. We wanted to make the most out of your truck bed. Now, Clay, you're actually the patent holder for the Freedom Truck Door. That is correct. We're at the SEMA show this week, so we can try to find somebody to team up with to do the conversion process of manufacture for not only the truck bed, but for the toppers. Well, I tell you, it is an extremely interesting and neat concept that you have. I'm, I'm telling you, so much easier to be able to get in and out of your truck, all the things that you would be able to do with it. If you want to find out more, you can hop on your website at freedomtruckdoor.com. One of the new things for the cars these days is LED lighting. In Sylvania, you've come out with a new LED line, Zevo. Tell me about it, Brian. Zevo is our brand new line, Zevo Automotive LED Lighting. It's really trying to hit the target market of the new consumers that are really looking for lighting that'll differentiate their car from all the other consumers out there. Uh, this, this interior lighting looks pretty neat. Let me see that. Yeah, the interior lighting is fantastic. You can be as creative with the car as you want. You can put it in so many locations. On the footwells would be your easy setup. We have it in some of the air ducts, so it might be a little more medium setup. 
Then we have some of them on the doors and under the door handles. Comes with the remote with the light system. You can do 16 colors. You can do flash or strobe if you're really in the party mood. It can dim. Uh, when it's moving in the strobe mode, it can go faster or slower. So you can really have as much fun with it as you want. We have a full line of exterior in the front of the car where the, the Zevo line comes with the Zevo Fog DRL kits, the Zevo DRL pipe and the Zevo DRL pixel where the fog kit comes with it has a high performance LED fog light and then it has a high performance LED as a, um, a light guide light pipe for the, for the daytime running light. The DRL pipe and DRL pixel are designed so that you have two screws with the, the bracket hooked to your car you run the wiring directly to the battery, and that allows it to be on and off. There's a sensor wire to the low beam or the parking light that allows it to sense when the car's on, and that would go from 100% to 50%, making it a legal DRL daytime running light so that when it's in night, pro night mode, it's not nearly as bright. So your headlights are doing their job. Say you've got a, a, an old 60s Camaro or something like that. Wouldn't it be really nice to be able to have all the electronic functionality that say you have in your brand new Camaro? That's what we do, Kathy, is we help guys wire their cars as basic as they want or as crazy as complicated. And that's really what we do here with our ICE power system. We replace a traditional harness, with our cellular systems. You put these cells in the car where you need them. What are we gonna be able to do with this? All the basic stuff like starting the car, headlights, turn signals, but let's say you want a one button start. Or let's say you want your interior lights to dim down real gradually over time. Or let's say I got a race car. When I shut the engine off, I want the water pump and the cooling fan to run for a couple minutes. That's stuff we can build in to get you what you need in the car. But more importantly, you now can control your car from any smart device iPhone, iPad, Android, it really can be controlled from anything, whether it's a key fob, the OEM switches, or really any switches you want to add, we can do whatever you want. It looks like it's pretty easy to install. That's the whole goal. It's just a couple of wires that connect into the ISIS system. Now, InTouchNet becomes that gateway from any smart device. It's a Wi-Fi connection from your smart device in, and you can control everything. So you get what all the new modern cars have, one touchscreen the dash that is your complete command center, you can have in your 67 Camaro, or really whatever that car is. Real simple touch screen, I go off and I push the button, and all of a sudden my headlights come on, or I'm cranking my engine from this, and you get that complete command center in the car within TouchNet. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. We want to find out more about any of your products. Hey, where can we check them out? www.isispower.com.